John, we've uh, played Kelty twice before. It was two results that we'll, we'll say a lot, not a lot about. But how much is today uh, showing the progression that your team continues to make? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we had to dig in today. Again, we had to battle for each other. It was never going to be a brilliant game. You know, it was a scrappy game. I think the pitch here being so tight, so narrow, it lends itself to that. that you didn't really get an awful lot of time in the ball to compose yourself and make passes. So, in the conditions, the wind and the, and, and the rain that were obviously going to make it more difficult. So, not a great game of football but one where you've got to try and find a way to win and we did and that is again like we mentioned after uh, the Alloa game so important that we have, we've been able to do that you know and today was massive to come back from being 1-0 down at half time and to show the character and the spirit and everyone the guys coming off the bench and going and doing a shift and uh, contributing massively to, to us winning the game it just speaks volumes for what we've got in the dressing room everyone now and that's the, that's the biggest thing we can take on the spirit the camaraderie, everyone working for each other right to the end and uh, I'm absolutely delighted, myself and Paul were absolutely delighted with that, that we're showing that, that side of us again, you know maybe early in the season, maybe we would have succumbed and, and, and lost that, that game, but we've, we've stuck to it I thought the first half we started really, really well opening period, really, really well and then uh, Paige has got to make a safe for a header and he um, had a couple of other you know, he stepped over the bar and we've had a couple of chances at the other end, Kai's had an opportunity we don't know if it was over line or not, but we were claiming at the time it was over line. Don't know if it was. Uh, but then we go behind to a corner kick and we go 1 0 down. Uh, but not a lot in the first half. You know, it was, uh, as I say, a scrappy game. Both teams had their opportunities. About the second half, I thought we dominated the second period completely. And I think overall, just about deserved to take all three points. You went from a, a sort of 4-2-3-1 to a 4-3-3 and then laterally you went five at the back there at the end. Some people, neutral fans, were questioning to Falkirk have a, a plan B. To what extent does that put that one to bed today? Yeah, well, you don't need a plan B if everything's working. If you're winning, what do you need a plan B for? You know, we've got plenty of plans. You know, we've got AC and D and E. You know, we've got plenty of plans, but thinking things working, you know. Uh, yeah, we, we, we changed things today. We, would, we worked on things during the week that we could possibly change things because of the narrowness of the pitch and the fact that in narrow pitches, the opposition can get to you quicker and they can get to our wide players and close them down. And So we, we, we changed. We, we 10 minutes before half time, we changed and we played the second half. We, we two up front and a little bit more narrower in midfield. And, uh, you know, we gained the upper hand in the game to take the game to, to Kelly. And... We popped up with the goals as well, and that's that's so important, you know. So no, I think it was, as I say, when things are working, there's why why, why change, you know. We've, we've been we've been playing well, you know. And if you weren't creating chances and you uh, weren't playing good football, you'd be saying, oh, we, we we need to change things, you know. At the end, it was just a matter of it was only the last minute or so, you know. We scored and we were in injury time at that moment in time, and you know we put call on just to go into. The, the middle of the defence and give us a back five. You know, they pushed Thomas away up top to, you know, and kick the ball along. And yeah, we understand that's going to happen and it was just a matter of seeing the game out, which we did very, very comfortably. It must feel great from a manager's perspective when you, you bring on a couple of subs and they both put the ball in the net. Yeah, yeah, well, delighted with that, absolutely. Yeah, delighted that the players have, have made that contribution. Uh, it helps, you know, obviously Jordan just joined and he's, he's got a goal today and... Uh, Romano's been coming off the bench. It's a really, really good finish today. An excellent finish. And that's good. You know, I said the other night there, you know, we just want as much ammunition as we've got possible to to, to go all the way here. And uh, that takes us, you know, another three points on the board. And, you know, we're not any closer, but we're a little bit further away for one or two others. Keeps the pressure on those above as well, doesn't it? That's what we've got to do. All you can do is look after yourself. And that's what we plan to do. We've got a game on Tuesday night now against Aloha. That's the next one up, so we'll be in tomorrow. We'll go through the process of recovery and about training with the guys that have not played so much today and then planning uh, how we go about Aloha. John, congratulations on a very hard-fought win today and, as always, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you.